For the past 18 years, an international group of campaigners has tried and failed to get a man released from prison in Israel. Now, Mordecai Venunu is days away from the end of his sentence. We're looking forward to seeing Mordecai. We're looking forward to watching him walk out. I think Mordecai appreciates that we've always supported him, always been there. And I hope that he's as anxious to meet us as we are to meet him. Mordecai Venunu spent 11 and a half years of his sentence in solitary confinement in a cell without windows. What had he done to be treated this way? Fanunu had worked at Israel's nuclear reactor, Dimona. In 1986, he proved to the world that Israel was secretly manufacturing nuclear weapons. To this day, Israel denies it. Mordecai was kidnapped from Rome, smuggled back to Israel, found guilty of espionage and treason. But for much of the world, he's a hero. hostel in Jaffa is where Mordecai's international supporters will gather to welcome him. In their vanguard is the organizer of the British campaign, Ernest Rodka. Oh, you're joking. Oh, I see. Sorry. I'm not, in, I'm, not, uh, I'm not that quick at the moment. Without people like Ernest, Mordecai might not have survived. Their plan is to keep up the pressure until he walks through the prison gates. But the Israelis are detaining supporters at the airport. Okay, she's still, she's still there. She's still being held. It's a I hope she's not frightened. Some of Mordecai's closest supporters are flying halfway across the world to greet him in person. They believe the information he provided is more vital than ever. Nuclear weapons aren't a local, it can't be a local national secret. You can't, you can't detonate one without it affecting everybody. If Bush and Blair uh, want to find weapons of mass destruction in the Middle East, Mordecai Venunu told them where to go. Though he's campaigned for Mordecai for many years, Ernest Rodka has never met him, never even heard his voice. But the police at Tel Aviv airport treated him as if he was contaminated. They, they frisked me, they went, they had, they all put on plastic gloves, you know, they put on these very fine plastic gloves. It's like a surgical operation. And then there was a, this young man sort of goes with both hands down my arms and down my legs. Excuse me, he says, and then he goes down my legs. So, you know, it's, they're treating us like terrorists. And this is all for a man who's coming out of prison. You'd think people would appreciate being told their government has a secret nuclear bomb factory, but Israelis don't feel grateful to Mordecai. Well, the majority, unfortunately, uh see that Benino is a traitor um, and so everything depends on the kind of pressure that we in the international campaign put on the authorities here in our attempt to mobilize what, what we can of Israeli opinion uh, on our side. In the flea market around the hostel in Jaffa, most of the stallholders are Jews from the Arab world, Oriental Jews with hardline Zionist attitudes. Mordecai himself is of Moroccan Jewish origin. But this is hardly the place to start mobilizing support for Mordecai. Jaffa was a Palestinian city, but during the Israeli War of Independence in 1948, at least 90% of the Palestinian inhabitants were forced to flee. The neglected graves of the old Jaffa families show they were never allowed to return. There is a small Palestinian community in Jaffa. They have the legal status of Israeli citizens. But like Mordecai Venunu, they're treated with suspicion and hostility. To be Arab inside of Israel, you are an enemy in front of the Israelis. If you, as an Arab, try 
raise your voice or the first tone. Inside Israel. Yeah. <laughs> we'll kill you. Mm -hmm. For Palestinian teacher Yusuf Asfour, what made Mordecai exceptional before the nuclear revelations was his involvement with Palestinian students at university. In the months preceding Mordecai's release, some politicians in Israel have been urging the government to keep him in prison. Reina Moss, an Israeli who's campaigned for Mordecai since he was kidnapped, thinks the pressure to prolong his detention has failed. Oh, he's coming out, yes. Yes, I do believe so. I mean, maybe it's silly, but even the Prime Minister said that he wants the world to see uh, Mordechai walk out as a free man, so they'll stop pestering the Israeli government about their treatment of him. He's not a Prime Minister who's been known to consistently tell the truth, but maybe on this issue we can be confident that the law will prevail and the justice will prevail and he will walk out. Some 90 hours before Mordecai is due to be released, the Israeli army assassinate a Palestinian Islamist leader, Abdelaziz Arantisi, in his car in Gaza City. This is a demonstration of impunity that's not lost on Venunu supporters. The campaigners hope to protect Mordecai by generating media coverage of their presence in Israel. But his supporters still aren't being allowed in. There are 11 people being held at the airport for no reason that we know of. Uh, famous actress Susanna York and Colin Breed, a British MP. Um, Ernest on the phone to the British Embassy. And we've had nothing but harassment from the authorities here in Israel, and it's an absolute disgrace that uh, our embassy has not taken a, um, a firmer role in assuring that its citizens come through the passport office. They're peaceful citizens, they have no threat of Israel, and they're being constantly harassed by the authorities at the airport. Israelis are encouraged to hate Mordecai because he gave away their nuclear secret. But he broke ranks in another way too. He converted to Christianity. This is Father Dave, an Anglican priest who befriended Mordecai when he was travelling in Australia before he exposed the nuclear story. I think for Mordecai, his decision to part with the story and his decision to convert to Christianity were very much uh, tied together. I think there's any doubt about that. When he eventually came to the front of the church, he prayed. Uh, now I give my life to Jesus, now I do what I must do, you know, so they're one and the same thing. Yeah, the secret had, had to be made known, and I think Morty rightly recognised that the issue itself was bigger than he was, and was something which was appropriate to lay down his life for, if need be. Whether or not God called Mordecai, his immediate fate rests with the Shin Bet, the security police. And this is my son, Tom. Um, the sheet men have announced that the brothers are invited on Tuesday to pick up Mordecai's belongings. And he'll be released at 11 o'clock in the morning. Do we believe them? I think in a long time, the first good news that we've had and the confirmation that he will walk out on Wednesday. When Mordecai was imprisoned, it was his brother Meir who started the international campaign for his release. For years he devoted all his energies to Mordecai. The battle isn't over yet. Today's newspapers are full of a recent interrogation of Mordecai, taped by the security services in prison, 
and leaked when it can do most damage. The papers quote Mordecai saying Jews don't need a Jewish state, but Judaism and Islam are backward religions. Mordecai was asked leading questions, and his answers, published of course without his knowledge or consent, are being used to make him even more of a hate figure. What's more, the tape of the interview will be broadcast tonight on national television. This incitement against Mordecai shows such malign intent the campaigners worry what else the authorities will do. It is entirely possible that they will either smuggle him out through the back door, uh, bypassing all his supporters, and whisk him away to some safe house, um, or else that uh, you, they may release him, they release him early. All our experience indicates to us that um, they are extremely hard enough to crack the Israeli authorities. What's even more worrying is that the address of the flat Mordecai will stay in has also been leaked. The campaign prepares a press release to demonstrate that people outside Israel are watching what happens. It doesn't help Mordecai that today is Holocaust Day. I know why you came here to school. I don't approve of your uh, activity. In some way, we are all Holocaust survivors. So for us, probably the only nation that was under of a real threat of extermination, having nuclear weapon, I see it as absolutely legitimate, more than anybody else. The early distance league calendar will, has it listed. Oh, yeah. How much have I actually eaten? Not much. Not enough. Just the what bones. Is the, what is the cosmic injustice going on here? I mean, you know, where's the justice? Jews are always persecuted. Really? This is one more example. One more example. How we're discriminated against <laughs> by nature itself. <laughs> what is Father Dave here? Can he convert me like on the spot? Oh, my God. Okay. Mayer learns that the interior minister has banned Mordecai from leaving Israel for a year. There are further restrictions. For instance, Mordecai will need written police permission to have contact with foreigners or move around Israel, all in the name of state security. He must not talk to the Israeli media. And I'm not sure. Is that a blanket ban on talking to the media? Is that the topic mentioned, you think? I mean, I don't want to do anything that's going to put Morty's own volatile situation at further risk. But I can't imagine coming all this way and not actually being able to touch him. Uh, no, you will see him. I don't have to see You'll have him. I promise you. I'm going to break the law, basically. It's going to be a scandal. Mordecai's supporters are preparing for a vigil outside the prison on the eve of his release. They want Mordecai to know he has friends waiting for him. They want Israel and the world to know they honor what he's done. Ashkelon prison is down the coast. They've organized buses. The buses don't come. People, we have a major problem right now. The bus company is not answering phones now, although I had written confirmation of our order today. <clears throat> what we're going to have to do is go into a bit of emergency uh, uh, procedures now. That doesn't mean that we need to panic. And that doesn't mean that we need to be rushed. What we will need is a lot of money. 
Okay, my idea is this. People who can't afford it, share a taxi, get in four per taxi or six per taxi, depending on size, Get start to get to Ashkelon. I'm still gonna try to get us buses. Our main goal now is to get to Ashkelon, right? Are we agreed on that? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. No, kind of strange because we need someone who knows how to get there. Yeah. Are there a group of four people who can share 300 shekels for a private taxi? Sure. Who is going with me? Okay. One. What? I'm not about to get here. And you give the money to me, Adeline, yeah? Okay. Shalom. Reina's made contact with a bus company that's used regularly by Israeli anarchist groups. They'll send a bus right away. Okay, a bus can carry 50 people. I need to separate, like, to visually see 50 people who are on the bus standing to a side. Who's 43? No one has any doubt that the first bus company was frightened off by the security services. Holy, do you have a number? Yes, 46. 46. They know this phase of the battle has only just begun. Most of the people here have spent years protesting outside Israeli embassies. Now they're inside the lion's den. They're right up against the Israeli state. חשבנו סוף סוף שהם הבינו שדווקא מדינה כמו ישראל צריכה נשק להגן על קיומה וכשהם עוזרים למרדכי וענון ומזדהים איתו הם בעצם עוזרים לכל ארגוני הטרור העולמיים All this uh, talking uh, that you see now is making a very big damage because it's starting a discussion. Maybe Israel should get rid of uh, its uh, nuclear weapon. And, uh, but in, in effect, you're saying that Israel does have nuclear weapons. I didn't say. I, I won't. I won't sleep very well if I know that we don't have. In the Middle East, Isalam Shalom. Isalam Shalom. Isalam Shalom. The man on the right is doing interviews as Mr. Ordinary Israeli. The man on the left is a television producer. Is he? Giving instructions? It's like police state, police state. It's much more subtle. You don't even look at people. I mean, I, I, I was born here, I grew up here. You look at people just here, and you don't know who is who. Who are local kind of rushnecks and who are a, 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 a secret service personnel to protect whatever their instructions are. So it's very difficult to know what's going on, who is doing what to whom. We've uh, sustained no damage. Uh, the hecklers and the uh, anti people have gone away. No one responded. It was very good. Uh, they were very angry. And um, 
I think they wanted to start some sort of confrontation, but we didn't get involved. And we're carrying on with the vigil. There's been a huge press presence here, um, and they're doing interviews with almost all of our celebrities. But as evening approaches, the angry people reappear. These doves are to be set free outside Ashkelon prison. Eighteen doves to symbolize the end of Mordecai's 18 years of suffering. They're really dirty. Is there anything we can do about that before we take them? Well, if you got a nice little rag, we can wipe them off, yeah. I'll wipe them off. Okay, so I'll go with them You got a, a nice washcloth. Yeah, you're being accused of being dirty. So they'll be home tonight. The ones that are any good at it will probably be home in an hour. <laughs> the others, if they haven't been trained, are going to be lost. And they'll be part of the pigeon population in... Uh, in the Ashkelon area. Ashkelon. They might make their home there. The peace line is becoming surrounded. There are protesters at the front of them and at the back. The police take a decision that wrecks the Venunu supporter's plan to be the first thing he sees. Over here at the barriers, have positioned the people baying for Venunu's blood in front of his supporters, between them and the prison gate. We were, we were concerned that they'd be behind and rushing, but no, there's nobody behind, and they've all gone in, they've all gone in front of us, and that's going to be the first sight he sees after... 18 years of incarceration. With minutes to go, a few Israeli anarchists push through the antis and stand right beside the gate. But the Venunu delegation is still in its line, 
at the back. Um, what feeling is it? There's about three of us over there. That's the way we each other are And if it's three or four of us, a billion pounds of one I mean, if you want to go, I can't stop you going over there. If you want to go over there, Yasmin, you go. I can't stop you. And, it, and it's, it's a contrast from there shouting and yelling. We, we knew this is going to happen. I, we, I know what you just think, but you've got to put up with it. Look, no one's been waiting longer than me, 18 years. It's going to be a mess. We've got to think as clearly as we can. If we follow our motions, we're going to get into a real battle. Somewhere in this melee, there's a small saloon car taking Mordecai Venunu away from Ashkelon prison. Ivanunu found refuge in Arab East Jerusalem. He's under the protection of the Anglican Cathedral, whose bishop is Palestinian. It seems entirely appropriate. When I was in prison, I received a prison condition like a Palestinian. So I was one of them, equal to them, in spite that I was alone, separate, they was in the prison with me. So I felt a uh, solidarity with them, and they also tried to send their sympathy to me. They used to leave for me in the courtyard some tea, coffee, and later I demanded to live with them. The prison uh, authorities didn't want to let me live with the Palestinians, but uh, we knew each other and uh, supported each other. Nine months after his release, Mordecai Venona was still living at St. George's Cathedral. He's out of prison. He's not yet free. I am uh, in the same mind that I, as I used to be in the prison, defending my right to freedom of speech. That was my fighting for 18 years, all the time demanding the right to speak. That's what I did and continue to do now that I'm free. The Israel government continue to pursue me, don't want to let me go free after 18 years. I don't have any more secrets, so Israel government should realize that these cases over dead should let me go.